What's up, friends? I am Miranda, this is Miranda in the Wild, and right now I am out on the Olympic Peninsula. Why am I here? I am going to attempt a zero-waste backpacking trip. I'm going to try to only make this much trash. Oh my gosh, it's like five minutes of trash cleanup. There's still very little stuff in here. What do I do with it? Trash lady coming through. I feel like I'm seeing all these things differently. It feels sort of hopeless. Very rocky. This is pouring rain all night. This is when I do not enjoy backpacking. This is beautiful. This is cool. There's a, bo a plastic bottle right there in our campsite. I want to see a sea anemone. I'm like sweaty, but I'm also cold. As the French say, say la vie. This is my show, gosh darn. Backpacking, zero waste, adventure, hooray! So the parameters that I've laid out for myself are to attempt to create no trash landfill waste on this trip. But with that, I do actually have a really cool opportunity to test out the new REI hiking boots. Since I'm an REI employee, I was lucky enough to get these early and these were made with sustainability in mind. They're like 99% recycled. Because these boots are so sustainable, I thought it'd be fun to take them on a sustainable zero waste backpacking trip and just like be inspired. Oh no, hold on, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> hold on, this is ridiculous. This is my trash bag. I'm going to try and do my best to only make this much trash. I am bringing a composting bag and then I have this little smell proof bag that I can put my compost into until I get out of the trail tomorrow. So at the end of this trip, maybe I'll show you how I did and you can let me know if you think it's one, reasonable for you to recreate something like this and two, if I did a good job. Before I pack up all of my stuff, there were a few things that are significantly different because this is a zero waste attempt at backpacking. So I just wanted to show those things to you. This is my toiletry and first aid kit. This is my least sustainable stuff. So in here I have like my tent repair stuff and then I have things like band-aids and antiseptic wipes and like Neosporin. And then I did also pack as an emergency, some adhesive toe warmers and hand warmers, just in case. Instead of bringing toothpaste, I brought these solid toothpaste tabs. These did come in a container, so that container can be recycled, but it is technically trash. So again, not perfect, but I'm just trying to do like the best that I can. Instead of bringing hand sanitizer, I have my tiny container of Castile soap, and then I have a tiny multi towel. So I'll be using that to wash my hands after I go to the bathroom, before I cook, all that stuff. This is a little container that I purchased that was like full of this cuticle cream slash lip balm. I used it and then I had a larger container of this hand balm and I refilled this. Oh, and then this is the other thing. I was considering bringing my BioLite wood burning stove, but it's just a little bit too damp out for me to use that. So I am bringing my Isopro stove and then I have this little crunch it tool from Jetboil. And this is actually designed to puncture a hole in an empty canister. So once you're like out of fuel, you can puncture a hole in it and then recycle it in most commercial recycling facilities. So for my food, I wanted to get food that was either like easy enough to get in bowl like most people might have access to bulk bins and then foods that didn't have to be dehydrated. Here's what I have. Lunch today and lunch tomorrow, I actually have these bagels, which as you can tell are wrapped in plastic. Under normal circumstances, these bagels would have been in the self-serve area where you just can like grab them and put them in a bag. But given the pandemic, these were wrapped individually in plastic. So I made the decision to still go with this because I think that getting like a carb, like a bagel or a roll from those self-serve areas in grocery stores is a really good option. But obviously this is trash. I'm kind of regretting my decision on this in this moment. And then I also got two small bananas. So I'll have one banana and some peanut butter and that will go on my bagel. This container is one that I got at the store we filled it, but I have in the past filled up like old ice cream containers or Tupperware or anything like that. So if you don't have a container like that, you can get one of these and continue to refill it at your grocery store. For snacks on the trail, I have a couple things. I have an orange and I have an apple. Plus I have this trail mix. This is just kind of my like grab and go hike for the snack. Hike for the snack, snack for the hike. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I have a zucchini, a shallot, and I got some mushrooms. That is all gonna go in this, which is a mixture of polenta and a dehydrated split pea soup that I found in the bulk section at the grocery store. For breakfast, I have some oats, and then my leftover trail mix, I can put some of that into this bag, and that is my food. If you like have a dehydrator, you could always just make food at home using stuff from bulk bins, using mostly vegetables or like meats from the meat counter, and then dehydrate it. The meat counter. The deli. Oh. <laughs> oh, the deli. 
if you are buying bars or buying uh, like backpackers meals from REI, there's actually a company called TerraCycle, which will recycle those for you. And some local REIs have drop-off centers where you can drop your wrappers and drop your bags from backpackers meals to be recycled by TerraCycle. Oh, I forgot something important. I am not bringing toilet paper. I am only bringing my bidet. That's not true. I am actually bringing one little napkin just in case there's like a, I have like a panic situation. But aside from that, but, <laughs> but I'm actually just bringing that backcountry bidet that I've talked about before. And I'm also bringing my cool cloth, which is the coolest sustainable wiping option for people who squat when they pee. Because there's only one day, maybe I can just, my body will just like hold the poop and I just won't have to poop. <laughs> That's not true, I'm not helping that. Just I'm bringing a bidet. Classy lady. <laughs> this is my only new piece of gear. Really, if anything, this backpacking trip is me taking these boots backpacking. I'm like, come along, little boots. Let's be sustainable together. Last step is just to pack up my bag and then we'll hit the trail. Don't roll on this part though. <laughs> this is the shameful peanut butter spoon licking. I said, don't roll. <laughs> My mouth is stuck together. Rain pants, in case it rains. It is supposed to rain a lot. Hello. There we go. It's in my pack. All right, great. Let's go. We are at our first sign. This backpacking trip that we're doing is a loop. So it goes, it's basically a triangle that goes out to the coast, along the coast, and then comes back in. So we're headed this way towards Cape Alava, and then we'll be coming back this direction tomorrow morning. Once we get to Cape Alava, we'll probably stop and have some lunch and then hike along the coast for a little while before we get to our campsite, which is at Wedding Rocks. At Wedding Rocks, there's actually petroglyphs from the indigenous tribes that live here. And I've been here for a long time. Oh, also the sign says, warning, bear frequenting area. If bears continue to acquire human food, this area may be closed. That's why we brought our bear canisters to store all of our food. Very important for our safety and for the bear's safety because if bears get too much human food, they have to be killed. So don't be a bear murderer. Let's go. My pack for sure feels heavy. Yeah, yeah I'm like surprised by how heavy it feels. I think it's because I'm carrying so much water. Pardon. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, so burpy already. I love all these planks. The path that goes to the beach is almost completely made up of these wood planks. Having the planks like this, so we have a path to walk on, helps keep us from causing additional like, damage and erosion to the area here. So this is all put in by trail work crews, whether they're like volunteer crews or people like work for WTA. So thank you to all of our trail workers. This is really beautiful. So many skunk flowers. Skunk lily. <gasps> Bridge! Bridge, 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 bridge. This is one like really cool thing about the Pacific Northwest are all these old growth forests. So it's really lovely and lush and green and beautiful. Mwah! To the beach. <laughs> West we go. Ooh, hole. Don't put your foot there. We're getting pretty close to the beach, I think, because I can hear it. So we're gonna go along these planks for the rest of the way and then we should get to the water pretty soon. By my watch, it's less than a mile. For those of you who don't know, this is how you eat an apple. You start at the bottom, you eat towards the top because that way you eat through the core. Oh, I'm baby with me. Walking on, walking on, wooden planks. Dee, 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 dee. Look, fungus. I feel like if I was a little fairy, I could like sit my little butt right here. I'd be like, boop. A little fairy dog would be right there. A little bumble lizard landing. A bumble lizard? Bumble lizard. What's that? A bumble lizard is like nondescript flying buggy thing. You know, you ever like see something and you're like, that could be a bee or a fly. That's a bumble lizard. I feel like I need to say that with more confidence. That is a bumble lizard. So we're almost three miles in on our hike. My pack feels heavy. And part of it I think is that this is just the first backpacking trip that I've done this season, at least. 
But another part of it is that I'm carrying a ton of water. I'm carrying four liters of water because there's not a ton of spots to filter water on this trail. So far, there haven't been any like issues with being zero waste on this part of the trail because I ate my entire apple and when I pee, I use my cooler cloth. So no problem. Ah! <laughs> do not do as I did. <gasps> you hear it? Yes. We just rounded a corner and I can officially hear the beach. There is a log we have to cross right here first. I feel like whenever the camera's rolling, I always do this a stupid way. I can do it better than this. I'm, I know how to get over a log. <laughs> there we go. Okay, perfect. Excuse me. me. Oh my gosh, the beach. This is water, birds. The beach. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm excited! Oh! Look at this little luscious wonderland we walked through! Isn't this so funny? It's like all this, all this like old growth forest, this little like green grassy patch! <laughs> it like doesn't make any sense! Ooh! Oh, it like smells like the ocean. Oh, it's so warm. Oh my gosh. All right. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> wow, it's just like all like, mashed in there. Mmm, yum. Backpacking, delicious. Bagel. All right, I'm shitting on this bagel. I'm not shitting, I'm eating it. I'm not gonna shit on it. <laughs> no! <laughs> mm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Whew, wow, it's brisk over here. That's a fing eagle. What is that noise it's making? Is that a hawk? Osprey. Osprey. Those wings! Look, there it goes. That osprey must be massive. <gasps> oh, shit. Wow, crazy. That was pretty cool. Nature is neat. Nature. I'm gonna go refill this. There was something that I read that said that the water was gonna be this kind of tea color, but it is still kind of alarming to like see that. <laughs> Look at that color. <laughs> Look at what I found. Purple shells. That was cool. I also wrote fart in the sand and cursive. For the next section of the trail, I'll be hiking along the beach. There's no actual trail. It's not like up in the trees. It's literally just along this coastline. So you have to be kind of aware of tides as like the tide changes and starts to come in. There's certain areas that are only accessible certain times of the day. It's only about, I think like a mile, maybe a mile and a half to where we're camping, but I know that it's gonna take us a longer time than it did on the planks because it's just like, the amount of obstacles that we have to cross being along the coast. So my boots are actually feeling really comfortable. I have stepped in a couple of puddles of water just like as we're crossing and my feet are still totally dry. Honestly, I forgot that I was wearing any boots that were different than my normal boots, which is basically the highest compliment you can give a new pair of shoes is that I didn't notice them. Yeah, I wrote that. I did that because I'm an adult. I was going to write poop, but I went with fart. <laughs> Great. These like piles of sea gunk. As you walk past them, all the bugs buzz up. <laughs> ah, boat cushion. Wow. I think you can technically pop them. I don't want. I don't want. Look! Look at this. Look at it. It's sea sea stuff. Crab carcass. Cool. Look at those muscles. Muscles are clams or something? Very cool. But they're on trash, which is too bad. Because this is a zero waste trip, or like my attempt at a zero waste trip, I feel like I'm seeing all these things differently. Wow, so much trash. Okay, when we get to camp, I'll be picking up trash. Decided. <laughs> ah. too bad that these shoes aren't mine to keep because I've definitely peed on them multiple times. <laughs> Pee proof! Stamp approved. 
All right, so the question becomes, can I hold myself, my own body weight, plus 35 pounds? You need to put like a disclaimer, like a REI does not recommend swinging on unknown pieces of rope you find in the wilderness. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so worth it. Oh, we're here. We have made it. I believe this is it. Oh yeah, let's camp here. Let's set up camp. Darn, it's only has one door, and in order to have my head uphill, the door has to be on that side. It means I won't get to wake up to the beautiful ocean. Yeah. I have to make sure that when I get up like in the middle of the night to pee, I don't like stumble off this tiny cliff. My worst fears <laughs> being realized. <laughs> it is actually supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow morning. Since this is like slightly downhill, I'm actually fairly concerned about rain tonight I'm getting my tent wet and getting my stuff wet coming in this direction. I guess we'll just see how that goes. But maybe all this talk of rain is like, maybe it won't rain now. There's my tent set up. Now that I still have some time left in my day, I thought it'd be cool to pick up some trash along the beach. There's actually a ton of plastic that's washed up onto the shores here. This is a lot of trash would fit in this bag. I'm just gonna put a little bit of trash in here. It's as much as I, I think I can carry out in my pack tomorrow. And actually, there's a, there's a, bo a plastic bottle right there in our campsite. So that'll be trash piece number one. One down. Whoa, what the fudge is this? Into the trash bag that goes, whatever that is. I've gone 20 steps from my camp and I found, this is now my third and then my fourth plastic water bottle. Dudes, stop using plastic water bottles. I was wrong, that's five plastic water bottles. Like literally 20 steps from camp. The only people that should be buying plastic water bottles are people who don't have access to clean water and need to buy bottled water. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like I can't even keep up with all of them. Now that is also technically trash, but I can't fit that in my bag. Bottle cap, piece of foam, piece of plastic. Thanks, Magic Hands. That's your trail name, I've decided. Yeah. Magic Hands. Okay, my assumption is that Almost all of this trash just washed up when the tide comes up really high. I'm guessing, but hoping that this isn't just like stuff backpackers have brought in. Yeah, and I kind of doubt that it is, especially because some of it looks like it's like old sea trash, which is my trail name. Milk? Well, tiny piece of plastic. Oh, piece of foam. Plastic rings. Whoa, whoa, look. I almost missed all of these. That's one, two, three. Oh, that's full of stuff. What do I do with it? Come here, magic hands, come on! <laughs> and your keep, you can stay. Hey. <laughs> Old, rusty MSR isopro canister. So this is why we recycle these if we can. Although, uh, like I mentioned, in some areas you can't recycle isopro, so. If you don't live in an area where these are easy to recycle, maybe consider a different type of fuel for your stove. This is trash. We have not gone very far. My trash bag's already getting heavy because I know that tomorrow I have another five mile hike out of here and at least two of those miles are along the beach. I'm actually gonna call this for tonight on trash. It's like five minutes of, of trash cleanup. It's like almost all just plastic bottles. Thank you to all the people that I know come out to this coast and clean up. I've seen other hikers and backpackers out here picking up trash. So thank you. Thank you to the trail crews who do this. If we all do our part, it makes it a lot easier. This is like getting heavy. So I've walked by a few small tide pools and seen like a few small crabs. But what I really want is a sea anemone and I have not yet seen a sea anemone. So we're gonna see if we can see a sea anemone. I want to see a sea anemone. Ooh, burr. It's getting very chilly. 
So unfortunately, no sea anemones, but now they're out here, you can see where we're going tomorrow. So those rocks down there, that like big rock on the point, and then the rocks just past it. And there's supposed to be petroglyphs on those rocks. So we'll go check those out on our way out in the morning. It does look like we're gonna get a little bit of rain. So I'm going to start my dinner now and just like get to cooking and eating and relaxing and sleeping. All right, viewers, we have a question. What? is this it was obviously just a bamboo pole that someone taped a hook to my guess was that it's for trash and you like poke it out into the, the water and like snag the fish or the trash i really do not know what this is for so if you have any ideas if you've seen one of these before and you have like a really clear idea of what this is please let me know in the comments i'm super curious rainer your vote is what i think it pulls in fishing nets rainer thinks it pulls in fishing nets abby what's your vote i think it's a really long pole that they use to pull people on stage like an old timey <laughs> <laughs> Groovy. So I'm just getting started making my dinner and the first thing I have to do is chop up my vegetables. And what I have are these four mushrooms, a little bit of baby zucchini and a shallot. That little end of the zucchini and the wrapper from my onion just added to my compost bag. There's still very little stuff in here. It's pretty cool. I have not added any new trash to my bag since I made my bagels this morning. So that's still my tiny little bit of trash. Oh, I did forget to mention this, which I'll show you tomorrow morning, but this is my coffee system. So I have a little bit of coffee grounds in here and then my coffee maker. I'm going to finish chopping up the rest of my vegetables just in kind of like loose pieces. And then I'll stick some water in here and steam them for just a little bit before I add in my polenta and my split pea soup. Is this knife making you scared of me? <laughs> Obviously if I had thought to like bring a cutting board or anything to cut on, this would be better. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here and then steam them for a short amount of time. I'm gonna get them just a little bit soft. I are steaming. So the veggies are looking pretty good. They're gonna have to be in there with the polenta for another like five minutes or so. So I'm just gonna kind of dump that in, add some more water and start the cooking process. And I'm just gonna kind of keep stirring this for like five minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Oh yeah, it's like really thick. Hot. This might actually like be done. The polenta is not smooth the way that polenta would be, but it isn't crunchy, it's definitely like cooked. If it weren't for the split pea soup, it would not be good. The split pea soup gives it like a really nice flavor. Hooray, wow, that worked. Hot, hot. I'm currently in my tent. It is very cold, it is starting to rain a little bit, but I'm feeling really cozy in my sleeping bag with my liner. There's really has been no difference in like after, since dinner time in doing a zero waste trip because uh, like all I'm doing is peeing and then I just take my cool cloth with me. I haven't had to poop yet, so I haven't had to use my bidet. But I'm just kind of disappointed. I was kind of looking forward to using it. Um, and aside from that, it's just been a normal backpacking trip. So here I am in my tent. I have opted to put my backpack at my feet which is really just a precaution because the vestibule's not, it's like on a slant and so I'm worried if it rains, my pack will get totally wet. So I brought it inside my tent because there's enough space. And uh, that's it, I'm gonna go to sleep. I will see you all in the morning. Good night. Good morning, it is a little after 7 a.m. Yeah, under normal circumstances, I'd be awake and in my tent. It has been pouring rain all night. It was still raining. It's still super windy. So I'm actually still lying in my tent. Ugh. I was going to make some coffee this morning, but honestly, since everything is so damp, I am not really in the mood to make coffee and then try and like deal with coffee grounds. Plus, I have to poop, and I'm like, I ju I just you know, coffee. So I don't need. That was my decision. I'm already awake, I don't need coffee. But I did boil some water and make some oatmeal. I'm just waiting for it to finish rehydrating and then I'm gonna add in some of my trail mix. The cool thing is, since I decided not to make coffee this morning, I actually don't have to add anything else to my compost. And obviously, nothing else goes in my trash bag. So this is still all the trash that I have created. Here is my oatmeal, here's my trail mix. Let's dump some of that in there. Ah! A little too much. I'm eating in my tent, which is the, kind of a no-no if you're in bear country, but it's raining, so just 
I'm assuming bears are not um, around. They're also in their tents. So this is what I call a leftover stew. So I ate out of this pot and then I put some like reserved boiling water in here and then use that to kind of like clean out the rest of it. And then you drink it. It's really gross. It's a really easy way to clean your pot. So now that camp is struck, uh, we're gonna hit the trail. We have, I think, a couple miles along the beach before we turn into the woods. So the tide has come in a ton. If you can see, like where I was yesterday. We were like way out on these rocks. There were all these little tide pools, but now the tide has come way in. This is when I really do not enjoy backpacking. Piece of shit weather. Did it really? Of course it fucking did. As soon as we get all of our rain gear on, and like take down all of our stuff in the rain, the fracking sun comes out. I'm gonna keep my rain jacket on out of spite. But also, welcome sun, welcome to the day. Ridiculous. The tide has come in so much that we actually need to scramble across these rocks. Fun! This rock is really slick. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. I like almost passed it. So this is one of the petroglyphs. There's actually one behind us too. Look. Really neat. Pretty incredible. Good. All right. I think this is a, another one here. It's just amazing to think that someone carved that into the rock. Respect. We can either go up there or see if we can go down and around. I go up. Go up? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it. And the petroglyphs are awesome. It's like fascinating to me. The bag of trash is really annoying. <laughs> I might tie this to my pack so I don't have to carry it. Whoa! This next section is more rock scramble, so I'm trying to figure out a way to attach this trash bag to my pack. I'm just gonna be getting hit in the back of the head with trash. Just don't know how else to do it. Hopefully once we get on the other side of this big rock, it clears a little bit, gets easier to navigate, and I can take this off of my pack and just carry it again. It's funny, I find myself like regretting picking up trash, even though I like I'm glad I did it. Like something else to carry. All right, here we go. Pardon me, trash lady coming through. We've gone 0.3 of a mile. Since I have a little bit of space in my backpack, I'm actually gonna put this trash in my pack. Perfect. Okay much better. Trash lady, onward. There's this tide sign here. I think this is actually marking the like trail that you can take when the tide is up high like this. But I think we moved back down onto the, the rocks and the shore now. And I think I see more petroglyphs. We're gonna get down to the shore and then go check those out. Oh yeah, they're really cool. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I think we would have almost missed these. Really beautiful. I feel really like lucky to get to see these. Onward. Okay. Look at how neat this is. A little, little box. Put a ring in there. <laughs> <laughs> Will you subscribe to our channel? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep cooking. Some way. Well, I would like to reach up my hands. 
No, I tell you, man. I'm there, man. Yeah. Down we go. <sighs> this part of the trail is a total slog. It's like nothing but rocks and sand. But that point is where we cut back into the woods and then walk along the planks. We just came off the beach. This is our trail ahead of me. Like carrying this singular trash bag out feels like nothing in comparison to this pile of trash that's here. It's like a good reminder that like doing a zero waste trip, and like trying to trash pack is like a very small step to take. Goodbye trash heap. How pretty is this? My friend, the wooden planks. Very ferny. I'm starting to feel really tired. I can't like quite get my temperature right. I'm like sweaty, but I'm also cold, it's also raining. Par for the course, backpacking. Oh, hey! So yesterday we turned and went this way out to Cape Alava, and then today we just came from here. So I think we're about a half mile from the trailhead now, so I will see you all back at the trailhead. Woo! Oh my gosh, we're here already. That wasn't half a mile, that was a second. I love this bridge is covered in, in beard moss. <laughs> That's wet. <laughs> So we started here, this is where we are right now, it was at Ranger Station, and then hiked out to Cape Alava, and then we hiked along this section to Sandpoint, and then came back to the Ranger Station. Okay, so this is why our water was that weird tea color. This is the water that I pulled up at Cape Alava to filter. It's not actually dirt, this is the, from the tree tannins that darken the streams. It's totally and completely harmless and delicious. Ooh, well, I am taking my trash and other people's trash home. Vince! Hi, my friend. I'm gonna get my pack off and take this trash off of the bag. Final verdict is those two pieces of plastic that were wrapped around my bagels, that is the only actual trash that I made on this trip. And then this is my bag of compost. So here's the trash that I created, and this is the trash that I picked up. Now on one hand, it's like I wanna congratulate myself, like I didn't create very much trash, but the reality is that even this small amount of plastic is going into a landfill somewhere. A lot of the trash that I wound up picking up are plastic bottles. So my hope is that I can actually recycle these because once plastic's been recycled, it can be made into all sorts of new things, such as these hiking boots. You see what I did there? bring it all back to the boots. And remember that like all of this is just a, a filter for viewing backpacking. I'm not saying that everyone has to go out and try and do a zero waste trip, but I am pretty psyched that I was able to do it or at least do it in a, a fairly well. And I was glad to carry out a little bit of trash with me. There are lots of awesome organizations that will actually actively recruit volunteers to clean up our beaches, to clean up our trails, and just like help keep these spaces beautiful for people to come and enjoy them just like I got to. It is pouring rain, which is perfect timing. So I am going to tie this bag off, take my compost and my trash home and call this trip a success. If you've ever gone on a zero waste backpacking trip, or if you have any tips or ideas for how I could do this in the future, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. And I will see you all in the wild. Bye. There's a bug dangling in the mid air and there's no tree above it. What? It's probably flying. Remind <laughs> it's a flying bug. <laughs>